The story of Medusa is Medusa was one of the most beautiful women on earth. She's one of the most beautiful women on earth. She was a priestess of the goddess Athena. Now hold on to that now, because the biggest, because Athena had one of the biggest statues in Greece. Athena comes from Libya, and in Egypt she's known as the goddess Neith. Nice. That's where the word net or knitting comes from, to knit things together. Neith nice was one of the also the, one of the four goddesses that we had to pull up to get those girls out of that um, church in Alabama. So there's Neith nice in Egypt, they, um, and, and Egypt, and then there's Athena. In Libya, these are all forms of Mayat. And then there is Athena goes from Libya, which is modern-day Libya would be Phoenicia at that time, or Carthage. There's Phoenicia, Carthage, and later on Libya. She goes by Phoenicia, she goes to Athens, and that's where you get Athens, Greeks, or Greece from. So there's a big statue in the Parthenon of, that used to be there of Athena. That statue doesn't exist there now. They built that statue in Nashville. And when you see the movie Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, they have a whole thing in, um, in that particular uh, uh, building in Nashville. And it's the black boy in the movie that holds up the Medusa's head to kill what is the hydra? The hydra is this dragon serpent deity. Every time you cut off one head, it grows four, five more, and whatever, and stuff in the mythology. Now, stick with me. Medusa was the Medusa was the most beautiful woman in the world. Medusa was a priestess of Athena in Athena's in Athena's temple. She was like an oracle-type priestess and one of the most beautiful women in the world. So beautiful till the god Poseidon, which was also in the movie Percy Jackson and the Lightning, he was Percy's father. The god Poseidon, which is over the sea. Now stick with me because i got to break this thing down. The god Poseidon, who was over the sea, went in Athena's temple and raped Medusa in the temple. When Medusa hears about it, and Poseidon is already is this a god, she sided with the males. Mm. She sided with the males. Yeah, but yeah, excuse me, not Medusa. When, when, when Athena heard about what had went on, she sided with the males and sided with with uh, with, with Poseidon. Thus, she cursed Medusa. Athena cursed Medusa and turned her into a hideous serpent-type deity. Now, we've even got more information that these stories are very old. That they're actually talking about the black woman in general and with the, with the, with the locks in the hair. Right, and you can right. Even, uh, uh, with the locks in the hair, but also you've got to realize this about the black woman. Her story parallels this. The black woman used to be the standard of beauty all over the world. Even yeah, in Europe, yeah. she was the standard of beauty. And the curse is now that the standard of beauty now is the European woman. And she spends her night and day, the black woman, trying to look like her, especially when it comes to the hair. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So some of these mythologies actually have true meanings in historical context. But Medusa becomes the hideous Creature that turns men into stone, later on killed by Perseus. In, 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 in Clash of the Titan, he uses her head to kill the Kraken, release the Kraken. Okay. Right, right. Now, so I tell this story to the people about how she became the Medusa in, in uh, the Gorgon, which your gargoyles come from, in Memphis. The very next day, what happens to Nashville where Athena's temple is? Nashville gets sacked and is covered over underwater and becomes yeah. a Katrina. Sure does. Sure does. Sure does. That yeah. was Medusa. See, part of Medusa's hideous, um, her hideous 
protest form was also in that lost room at the Low Rain Hotel. Mm. Now, but she had already started being activated from two movies because she came to me before the Low Rain Hotel and said, I want you to do something on me. So I did my part on Medusa. Now, who was it that raped her? Poseidon. Poseidon is in the ocean. Is in the ocean. So you got her going and sacking the temple and putting uh, Nashville underwater. You see, putting Nashville underwater, which is also her attacking Athena, who cursed her. And there's Poseidon has to be dealt with, has to be dealt with. 